We all know it, the teams involved tanks blitz seemingly are getting worse and worse, but what can you do to maximize what you're getting out of those teammates and also those enemies? Because remember, it's just not your teammates that are getting worse, it's the enemies that are getting worse as well. So if you can make use of every trick in the book to use your team effectively against the enemy team, then you might still not win the battle, but you will be able to do great performances every single battle. And that's kind of what matters. Do well for yourself. Don't care too much about your win rate. If you're doing 4k average damage, who cares if it's 40% win rate or not, basically. So let's have a look at this battle that perfectly explains exactly what I mean. Object 140, whatever this map is called, First of all, we look at the team composition. There's a lot of tank destroyers, a lot of heavy tanks right there, E100, VK-72. That is a great thing for uh, Object 140 because I can control the battle. As a medium tank, your primary objective is to control the battle and to get map control. So one thing that is extremely important is the number of medium tanks on each team. They have three, we have two. So the primary thing that has to happen here is that we have to reduce the enemy amount of medium tanks either down to two or ideally down to zero to even have a great chance at doing this because a good medium tank player is going to own a battle. A very good E100 player might do really well, but they're not as easily able to control the flow of a battle as a really good medium tank player. Keep that in mind. If you're a tank destroyer player, just, just pray. Just pray at that point. But I'm not praying. I'm reversing on that STV-1 because I know the Karo is in a very bad situation and I can make use of that, right? The Karo is getting shot at. I can make use of that by shooting the T-22 and the STB. And again, that Karo is not wasting hit points because I'm dealing damage off his hit point loss. And now we have the VK-72 over there. We already spotted the 183, so we know where that guy is. Now, the Karo is going to get killed by the E-100, which means I can drive down here safely. The E-100 can't hurt me, and I can get out of here. I don't want to stay in this position because essentially the entirety of the enemy team is here. And you do not ever want to take the brunt of the damage. You do not ever want to be the easiest target for the enemy to engage. If you're the guy that gets shot at first, you're doing something wrong. Unless you're playing the mouse, then that's kind of your playstyle. That's where you're supposed to be. But if you're the guy that gets shot at first, you're doing something wrong. Now, VK and the 100 they shoot again, shoot at the E75. E75 is dead. But can I make use of that? Of course I can. I can shoot this VK. I can put two shots into him before he peeks. Now, the E100 as well. I can see him down there, but I know that he can't shoot me because he doesn't have the gun depression that, to get up here. And now, I can shoot him again. And now, obviously, I want to get out of that situation. I see the Jagdpanzer down there is on full HP. How can I make use of that situation? Obviously, the E100 is going to be held back by the remaining Object 704, so I can safely exit this scenario as well. Basically, you're the queen of the chessboard and you use your pawns ideally. And sometimes... Those pawns graduate to queens, but oftentimes they just die. Now, the Agpanzer E100, another great pawn right there because he is spotting three tanks for me. And now he's dead, but there are still three tanks that I can shoot at. Now, I've still made quite a couple of mistakes already in this battle that I'm not even going to talk about. But I drove into walls. I missed shots as easy as that. And still, it is going to be a really great battle. Why? Because... If I make mistakes, but no enemy is around to punish me for it because I am in the perfect position, then it's as if that mistake never happened. But if you make that mistake in a position where the enemy can punish you, well, then you're going to get ruined. Now, 183 is down. One of the biggest threats has been removed. And now we look. Two versus four. There is an AFK. I want to get as close to that 60p as possible because I know that the average World Tanks Blitz player is the average intelligence of a banana. So they're going to shoot at the AFK if the AFK is the easier target. So I want the AFK to be the easy target so I can farm damage. The T-22 peeks out, side scrapes, I can still pen him because I'm, I don't know, just, just luck. And now what I want to do here, use that 60 TP hit points to my advantage. Shoot at the toilets, do extra damage. Now I want to take out the standard B right here. I don't pen him once, and I'm not going to pen him again because I'm dumb, but he's not going to pen me either. Again, I don't pen him, he doesn't pen me, nothing ever happened. He doesn't pen me again, I don't know, that's just luck. At this point, luck is also very important. We'll get to that in a bit as well. But essentially, if I make a mistake and nobody punishes me for it, that's perfectly fine. Ideally, you don't make a mistake at all. But anyway, now, Planet B is dead. My biggest priority now, what is the T-22? Because the T-22 can come after me. I'm coming hard. Can run me down. The heavies that are alive now, the E-100, the VK, Totos, they can't do anything about that situation. I can control the flow of the battle again. And I can engage them one v one. The one and that is what you always do not just 
in a 1v4 situation like this, always only engage one vehicle at a time. If there's multiple tanks that can shoot at you, you oftentimes do have a problem because one of them is probably going to hit. Ideally, have your teammates get shot or only have one tank that has the potential to shoot at you. That's very simple. And now, I know the VK isn't in a position to shoot me where I am. I'm going to again scoot away. And I want to draw this T-22 towards me because I do know that people love getting killed. And this T-22 is not going to think. He's not going to play together with his team which is exactly what he should. I'm going to draw him out into a 1v1, and that is exactly where I want him. Now, again, I screw up. I don't pet him, but I let him drive over me because as long as he's on top of me, he can't actually shoot me. I shoot first because very quick reaction time is incredibly important, and then I high roll for a little bit of luck as well, and now he is finished off perfectly. So don't get into a 1v1 like that unless you know that you're going to win or unless you get lucky. And then I wait. For the VK-72 to be unspotted on the minimap, that means now I'm also unspotted. I will drive the other way, and correctly, the E-100 assumes that I'm going the other way. I'm actually not. I'm also out of AP shells, but I can use a heat shell to put it down into the E-100. I can also put another one into the lower plate of the E-100 because I know that he doesn't have the gun depression, doesn't have the speed to peak that ridge line quickly enough to be able to engage me before I run away. Duh. This is all just... That, that, that's how this works, right? You think what can happen, and then you do the thing that is most beneficial to you. And now, again, luck. I mean, 6,700 damage is already enough, but... And now it is 7,033 damage in a battle like this. Now, obviously, this is a complete and utter outlier, but I do think it just perfectly shows what you need to do to do really high damage, right? To be truly at the top of the pile. I mean, don't idiot peek like this, but... Here's the thing. What you need to do is be aware of your own mistakes, ruthlessly punish the enemy's mistakes, use your teammates as pawns, essentially, in a game, because you're the one playing it, and then it will be pretty damn good. So before you complain about bad teams and bad players, the next time, instead of wasting all of that energy on something that you cannot change whatsoever, and that's something that Wargaming will not change, think about how you can make use of these bad teams and generate the maximum potential for yourself or just yolo and have fun i don't know i'm not your dad but i am gonna tell you to subscribe and you better do